Welcome, Whiskey Vault. Oh no! Dropped a thing. I lost all Dropped of them. A thing. So this Dropped is from thing. Eric Evanson, who's a Titan. Daniel in the distance. Yeah, there's. Eric. Could it be? It's Eric Evanson. Now, Eric uh, is yeah. also a benevolent bastard because one of the things he sent is a whiskey from Hatch Distilling Company that was bourbon finished in scotch casks. We already reviewed it a yeah. year ago. So thank you, Eric. But this one we have not done. Doers. Japanese, Japanese smooth. It's in the Mizanara oak cask. Bag. Yeah. Okay. So this is Doers. That's We'd interesting. Aged at least seven years, eight years. Uh huh. And then moved into Mizanara casks for, <laughs> wait for it, Six months. Right. We'll talk about why I feel that that's problematic mm -hmm. <laughs> in a second, but I feel bad because. Um, why six? I don't want to. It's just six months. They why, just said six months. Why is there a problem? Because Mizanara historically it takes a long, long takes time. Takes a time to have an impact. Okay, so you're saying. And so if you get impact from Mizanara in six months, it's more likely that the impact came from what was in the Mizanara. That's what I'm saying. Than it is that the impact came from the Mizanara. Okay. Is there an impact? Yes. That's kind of my question. So, Mizanara, whenever it's a new Mizanara oak barrel, yeah. the, the reason why it was written off for years is because they put the Japanese well, whiskey in there, also, they checked in on it, and they didn't do anything interesting, collected dust back to the warehouse, and then finally got curious one day, pulled it open. Oh my gosh, Mizanara oak does amazing things. It just takes a long, long time. It also so, leaks like a sieve. So, if you have whiskey, it's in there. The whiskey is definitely going to be in that wood. The flavor is going to be living in that used cask. And you have a problem because you're thinking, wait, the spirit is what's going to be teasing out of those wood fibers and giving you an impact on this, yeah. not the wood itself. But you're, in your scenario, your type of cask would need to be a, a new Mizanara cask. Then it's, what's the difference between, it's like, well, this is a, no, 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 no. a port finished whiskey. Even a port finish, you're still getting the wood impact over the longest, not just port, otherwise just pour port into it. Well, like, it's, it's the port like that's living in the wood. It's basically yeah. the port that's in the grains that gets much more saturated wood. with the wood. You cannot make Balvini double wood sherry impact yeah. from pouring sherry into bourbon. I'm not saying you can't. But I'm saying the sherry wood, it's sherry wood. It's that combo. You got to have both. Yes. So even the Mizanara, yeah, you're going to end. What I'm saying is, yeah, you could have a Mizanara impact even if it held something else. Hmm? But you're gonna have to wait longer to get through the spirit to the wood. But I'm saying the spirit that was in there is a Mizanara infused spirit. So even yeah. if it's pulling the flavors from the spirit that's living in the wood oh, fibers. Oh, I think I finally understand yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Even if there is Mizanara notes, right. it's probably Mizanara impacting the previous yes. spirit. Yes, yes. Is that here? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Yes, okay. I agree with that. All right. uh, I will say, however, uh, so Mizanara always has it always had impact early on. Yeah. So when they first used the barrels, it impacted things immediately. Mm -hmm. It just didn't, didn't impact it in the way they wanted. To get all the things that made Muzanara subtle and interesting mm -hmm. required decades. Right. Um, not no impact. So it wasn't like nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened 20 years later. Mm -hmm. Oh, impact. It was more like, we don't like it, we don't like it, we don't like it. 20 years later, oh, that's actually kind of nice. Yeah. Now, historically, wait, I want to I A-B compare these things. Uh -huh. Historically, even before you smell it. Is the proof the same as everything else? Probably. It's I mean, doers. This, is, this is darker. Yeah, it's uh, 40 and 40. Okay. So, historically speaking, Mizunara has seemed to add a... Spanish cedar, mm -hmm. sandalwood kind of note. Mm -hmm. Does it? I found some sandalwood in the Mizanara. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So did it impact it? Yeah. 100%. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. six months impact. It's not it. heavy handed. It's not like, oh my gosh, the Mizanara on this thing. But there's definitely a difference. No. And it was like, it's kind of a sweet, subtle sandalwood difference. And then there's a kind of a raisin quality too. Is that also in the. No, it's not in it's the. It's not in the Doors, yeah. So here's, I like this way better in the nose right. than the classic Doers. Yeah. Already it's improved. 
Yeah, I agree. This is a more complex and interesting doers. Even though they're the same proof, there's definitely a lot more going on in the Mizunaris. The Japanese Smooth, that's kind of a silly name, but whatever. It's part of their line called Smooth. Yeah. And so they've got various kinds of Smooth. Portuguese Smooth, mm. Mezcal Smooth, right. and so on. All right, I'm going in. Oh, it's really dry. Whatever was in that... The oh. impact of the Mizunara, Mizunara barrel... It's kind of a little tingliness. ...is undeniable. Yeah, yeah. Now, I would argue, was it the Mizunara barrel? But that's, I mean, it's the same argument, yeah. again, yeah. with any finishing barrel. Sure. How much is the thing that was in it versus the, the wood? Right. So that would make it a very true Scottish-style finish. I'll tell you right now. Because that's what Sherry If the is. only difference between these two things mm -hmm. is the Mizunara finish... Then oh my do that gosh. from now on. This was such an upgrade. Get rid of this. <laughs> this was such an upgrade. More of an upgrade than any of the ones we've tried before. Yeah. Some of the other things, you can tell a difference. And it's kind of a bit of a lateral move where that's unique and interesting. This, definitely across the board improvement. Wow. There's more body. Yeah. There's more character. There's more complexity. There's. I was, uh, I'm glad. I'm glad it's superior. Mm -hmm. I still think six, six months. That is a really short time oh, window. Just like it now, there's a nice honey element in there. Did you know it's gluten free? <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, well, here's the thing though. Eight years is. That is, means they didn't. Is doers the standard? They can't have caramel colored that then. If that is eight years, is this seven and a half years or is this eight years? Eight like, years and then six months. Okay. And I don't know how old this is. That tastes. Anybody like, that knows. tastes like it's older. It does taste older. I mean, obviously, it got finished for a while, but even beyond that, it tastes like there's just more maturity. This is a little maturity. slight diversion, but yeah. gluten-free on the label is dangerous in scotch because if, if you have gluten sensitivity, then fine, drink whiskey. It's no big deal. Right. But if you have legitimate gluten problems like celiac right. disease where your body just can't process it correctly, mm -hmm. then E150A will f*** you up. Food coloring will yeah. f*** you up. And so, while technically a distilled spirit is gluten-free, adding E150 food coloring into it ruins that. Yeah. And so you got, unless they didn't add coloring to Dude, this, you I gotta be careful about that, that gluten-free. There's like a nice apple mixed with vanilla now towards the finish. Mm -hmm. Nice, hell yeah. That's probably one of the nicer doers I've ever had. Yeah, I agree. I like it. Japanese smooth. Well done. Uh, Jose Arroyo, wait Daniel, no medallion. Yeah. See, Dan wasn't around to remind me to put my medallion on. Human cells. Total, Sorry. Total noob non-whiskey drinker question. Part of the taste is in the smell as we drink and chew. Would right. drinking it straight without smelling it first make for a more complex experience at first taste? No. In previous episodes, you showed me the smelling your arm to reset your smell. Wouldn't smelling first before drinking take away those notes when drinking? Great channel. Very, very entertaining, even though I don't drink. No. So the first is that smell is most of taste, mm -hmm. not part of it, most of it. You eliminate smell, you eliminate almost everything you taste. Right, if you, so close even your, this, if you hold your nose and taste, try it. good luck. First your ears pop. Yeah. You need that retro Nothing. nasal. Or nasal, even, from the glass while you're sipping. No, but it's more fun to say. Retro nasal. Retro nasal. So, there you go. Ah, oh. yeah, I'm a fan. Mm. I dig it. What is all this stuff on the back? Good job, doers. They did uh, an experiment. It turned out really nicely. Hopefully this is not impossible to find. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. Within the spectrum of doers. Yes. Here's dividing stealing and drinking. If you fight, may I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver. And if you drink, may you drink with us. <laughs>